my mother's watching now. I've got to make well, sure that my shirt's not creased <laughs> and, you know, and all the really important <laughs> things. My mother's 82 and she still hits me with a wooden spoon. Nice. The good thing is now I don't feel it. <laughs> together in San Diego in uh, Carlsbad after when I first went to Project Walk. I was always felt guilty about at the end of the, the talk I gave to us chat and I said to everyone I'd find a way to walk again and um, this is not exactly what I had in mind at the time. And I always felt bad about saying that and making that promise to everyone there and I always just truly believed one day I would find a way and today here I am so it's pretty amazing. It might be one of the only promises I've kept, but at least I kept that one. Awesome. Hold that pose. Critiquing everyone walking, watching everyone walking, going, oh, yeah. I've never thought about that. I oh, know. I always believed I would find some way to walk again, and even though it isn't exactly what I had in mind when I first started out, I'll take it with both hands and smile all the way. It was fantastic. And I know the greatest thing is that how I feel right now, I'll be able to one day let other people, hopefully at home, feel that way. And that is the real magic behind it. Not actually something for me, but in five years' time, we'll be able to share that with all the people that I talk to, and they're so devastated, and they so want hope, and they so want something to believe in, and now they really will have something to believe in. And if I can somehow share the opportunity to to bring that and help them feel what I just felt now, I'll take the injury all day long because my life before the injury, I could have never had that kind of an effect on anyone or changed anyone's life or profoundly affected them. And this will absolutely change so much for so many and sort of to be part of that is really overwhelming. Mm -hmm.